we thank the lord for his precious word devudey velaiyera petta vaathigalukkaga nandri seluthuvom the word god has been speaking to us all through these months idhine madangalaga devan nammodu kuda pesugira vaathigalukkaga nandri seluthuvom we thank god for uh, specifically speaking to us about the importance of faith for our spiritual ascendancy in christ kristu kullaga irukkum அந்த ஆவிக்குரிய வளர்ச்சிக்கு தேவைப்படுகிறதான விசுவாசத்தின் முக்கியத்துவத்தை நாம் கேட்டுக்கொண்டு வருகிறோம் we heard that faith brings us into oneness uh, with his purpose அவருடைய நோக்கத்தோடு கூட விசுவாசம் நம்மை ஒன்றிணைக்கிறது என்று கேட்டோம் faith brings us into uh, oneness with god's message அவருடைய வலிமறியோடு கூட அவருடைய விசுவாசம் அந்த விசுவாசம் ஒன்றிணைக்கிறது என்று கேட்டோம் god brings us in oneness with god's means அவருடைய ஊடகத்தோடு கூட விசுவாசம் நம்மை ஒன்றிணைக்கிறது என்று கேட்டோம் faith brings us into oneness with god's தேவனுடைய நேரத்தோடு கூட விசுவாசம் நம்மை ஒன்றிணைக்கிறது என்று கேட்டோம் God faith brings us into uh, the principle of God's working to so the basis of his working which is uh, the power of his resurrection கிறிஸ்துவின் வல்லமையாகிய அவருடைய கிரியையின் அடிப்படையிலே விசுவாசம் நம்மை ஒன்று சேர்க்கிறது என்று கேட்டோம் we heard very clearly the burden of the lord conveyed to us last time கர்த்தர் கூட ஆவியானுடைய பாரத்தை தெளிவாக நாம் கேட்டோம் that faith is something that we need in our lives from the beginning to the end ஆரம்பத்திலிருந்து முடிவு வரை விசுவாசம் என்ற ஒரு காரியம் நமக்கு தேவைப்படுகிறதே நாம் கேட்டோம் faith is like a key to everything in our relationship with the lord கூட அந்த இருக்கிற உறவுக்கு விசுவாசம் தான் ஒரு திறவு கோலாக இருக்கிறது என்பதை கேட்டோம் it's all just a matter of faith from the beginning till the end in our lives walkile aarambathirundu mudivu varai viswasam dhan karyam we were also exhorted by the lord that we need to settle this issue in our lives now ipo inda karyathai nammude walkile nam irithikolla vendum endru nam thelivaga kettom yes and we thank god for many other words by which god exhorted us and spoke to us last week kandavara melum pala vaarthigalinal devan namakku putti sonnar adarkaga nandri seluthuvom he that come to god must believe that he is god devathile varugiravar devan undendru viswasikka vendum and he is the rewarder we heard that very clearly apdi varugiravarku avar balan kodukiravar endru thelivaga kettom yes he is the rewarder and we heard many words of exhortation uh, uh, with regard to that that thought and the karyathi kurithana palavidamana putti madigale nam ketom you know we also heard last week nam nam kadanda varam ketom about our living relationship with the lord nammude uyirod irukkira uravu and how important that we need to realize in our daily life that he is the living god avare jeevanulla devan endru nammude anudina vaalvile unara vendiyadhu evlo avashyam endru ketom we were exhorted from the life of caleb caleb nude walkil irundhu paarthom you know our relationship is with the living god nammude uravanadhu jeevulula devanidathil irukkirathu our knowledge of him ought to be living we heard avrudeya deva arivanadhu nammudathile uyirod irukka vendum endru kettom and where our knowledge of the lord is living where life is there is always ascendancy or growth enge deva arivu uyirod irukiradho ange aavikuriya valarchi kanapadum endru nam kettom you know there is always a formation of life enge jeevan irukiradho ange jeevan melum uruvagum endru kettom it's not a matter of information edho oru thagaval alla it is not a matter of some personal knowledge edho thalippatta vidhamaga irukira deva arivu alla which is mere head knowledge in our life idhu nammudaiya uyirodu nammudaiya uyirottamana oru deva arivu alla it's altogether different from book knowledge that we can have edho puthaga arivu alla but we heard very clearly anal thirivaga ketum it's a living knowledge idhu uyirodu irukira oru arivu alla you know we have to do with a living god in our lives we namude vaalkai nam jeevanulla devanodu kuda nam selpadukirom you know i am i during the last week kadanda varam ketom i was greatly burdened in my heart about this indha oru kaariyathe kurithu naan megavum baarapattirundhen you know several things the lord was bringing into my heart and to my uh, to ministering to my own self indha hridayathile devan pala sindhigalai kondu vandar enidathile devan adhigamai pesinar you know and i am not here to be a youtube preacher naninga youtube prasangiyaraga irukken naan alaikapadavillai it may be posted there 
others may be benefited by that mattavargal bayanpattalum kuda but i know that god has placed me in this local and, body anal inda ullur sabile devan enna veithirukkar endru enakku theriyum and god speaks to me about god speaks deva janangalai kurithu devan ennodu kuda pesukkar endru enakku theriyum it's not that i go into researching about everyone naan over varayum kurithu naan sodhippadarkaga but even as i mentioned two weeks back naan kadanda varam kettom the holy spirit speaks and shows things avi anavar pesi karyangalai kaanbikkar and the things are brought to you apriyaga namakku karyangal concerning god's own people devudaiya janangalai kurithu thana karyangal namakku velippadathu now i cannot ignore that when god is giving me a time to share god's word with us apriyaga devan namakku nerathai koduthu andha karyathai now this is true when we read paul's letters naan paulanudaiya nirupathai vaasikka virumbugiren when paul wrote his letter to the philippians and philippians nirupathile He had to write about two sisters. Who had difficulties in the local church. 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 Who had And I don't know if those sisters left the church and went. But this is what we read in the scripture. But this is what we read in the scripture. But this is what we read in the scripture. So Paul was you know we know that the letter to the Philippians are read through the centuries and here we are opening that letter again and again in our own lives amen sagaptangalaga inda philippian nirubhavam vaasikapattu kondu varigirathu naamum thorandu vaasithu kondu dhan varigirathu but the holy spirit did not remove those two sisters names and the sagarudaiya perugalai aaviyanavar and nirubathil rendu edukkaru so we see that even when the apostle paul stood before or wrote with a burden to specifically the church in philippi apiyaga philippia sabaye kuri ஒரு பாரத்தோடு கூட அப்போசல் போல் எழுதினார் you know and he he knew or perhaps the holy spirit knew that this letter will be read through the centuries till the end of the earth இந்த பூமியினுடைய கடைசி காலம் வரையில இந்த நிரூபம் வாசிக்கப்படும் என்று ஆவியானவருக்கு தெரிந்ததால் இருந்தது so and in those letters the you know particular situation in the local church was also included ஆகவே அந்த உள்ளூர் சபையில அந்த குறிப்பான குறிப்பிடத்தக்க அந்த காரியமானது எழுதப்பட்டது சேர்க்கப்பட்டது ஏன் இதை நான் சொல்கிறேன் என்றால் I want to say that all is not well with us நம்மோடு கூட எல்லாம் சரியில்லை என்று நான் சொல்கிறேன் I want to say நான் இதை சொல்ல விரும்புகிறேன் You know and several of us are hearing God's word தேவன் வசனத்தை கேட்டுக்கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் Listen carefully This message may be heard both in in this country and abroad. இந்த செய்தியானது உள்நாட்டிலும் வெளிநாட்டிலும் கேட்கப்படுகிறது. But I would like to categorically say that all is not well. நம்மோடு கூட காரியம் எல்லாம் சரியில்லை என்பதை குறிப்பாக நான் சொல்ல விரும்புகிறேன். You know we heard that we have to do with the living God. நாம் ஜீவனுள்ள தேவனோடு கூட செயல்படுகிறதை மறக்க வேண்டாம். But some of us are still நம்மில் சிலர் in a great bondage. இன்னும் நாம் அடிமைத்தனத்தில் காணப்படுகிறோம். though we know the truth satyate nam arindirundalum kuda we hear the truth satyate kekkirom somehow it's not becoming a living word within us namakku adu oru jeeva vaarthiyaga varavillai innum this is a matter of concern idhan kavalai kuriya oru kaaryam we talk about the living god nam jeevanulla devane kurithu pesugirom but this knowledge is not a living knowledge anal inda deva arivanadhu innum jeeva arivaga varavillai when it comes to our personal life nammai sundha vaalvile we are just managing our life epudiya vaalkai naam oti kondirukkirom it's much of it is just outward idhu velipuramagave anega velagalai kaanapadigirathu you know many of the things are living karyangal jeevanaga irundhalum and the things concerning god is almost dead ana deva arivai kuritha karyangal setta karyamaga irukkirathu now this is something we need to confess ana indha oru karyathai naam sandithe aaga vendum don't try to bypass this that which the holy spirit is ministering to you and to ungalukku menakku aaviyanavar solugira kaaryangalai vittu vilaga vendam please therefore i would like to give an example udaranam solla virumbugire you know when you look at the trees ningal marangalai paarkum bolude you know some of the trees look so strong sila marangal megavum balamaga theriyum you know the trunk is very very adanude tandugal miga periyadaga irukkalam you know but when a storm anal oru puyal varum bolude you know we see that some of them just fall avigal sila they are approved avigal sila verodu keele vilundu vidugirathu 
Now the reason is, you know, some of them, when you look at it, didn't have enough root. And some of them have been already hollow. There was no strength inside. The reason was again, it was not able to draw life. There was no supply inside. You know, and I felt the Lord saying this to me. There are several amongst us like that too. Outwardly, looking quite okay. Green. But how long? How long is the question? You know, when some storm comes, some trees are able to stand. But when the next storm comes, those very storm trees are falling apart. And I've seen that in this, in this body of people. You know, those who stood, gone. You know, so I just want to share this with us with a great burden. Now, God knows you and not, I do not know you. And I know something about you. God may lay some burden upon my heart. The Lord may say something to my spirit. Uh, and all this is for your and our edification. Not as a matter of finding fault with one another. You know, so there's a great need for us to be, you know, uh, understanding and as we heard, we have to do with the living God. You know, our, we have to do with the living God. We have to live with this. We are accountable finally to the living God. Yes. So, let's be conscious of that. You know, as we heard very clearly, I want to say this again to us. You know, we are to grow in the light of His present word in our lives. Remember, we grow together with God's people. You know, we together, you know, obey God's word. We together come alive to what God is presently speaking. You know, it's not that we are already perfect. But we are moving on to that realm of maturity. You know, so this is something that we all need to experience. So when we know that we are weak in some areas, you know, God's word comes to us to help us. But we need to be sensitive and to alive to God's word. That word has to be alive within me. That knowledge that God is ministering must be life within me. Remember, many a time, I know one thing. We talk about fellowship. Fellowship is not, if I use that word, it may sound very, radical, very bad word. Uh, so I'm, I'm worried about using that word. Fellowship is talking and sharing things that will edify one another. Fellowship is not complaining. I used a, a decent word. You can use another word which I don't want to use. You know, fellowship is not complaining. It's not complaining about anybody else. It's not complaining about the church. It's not complaining about what you feel bad. Fellowship is edification. Amen. Fellowship is not gathering information. For some people, fellowship means gather information. Now, this is not fellowship. This has got another word again. I am not using that word. And you know now, 
so many times i repeated now you know what that word and the vaarthai ungalku theriyum palamurai ketrukkeenga you know as somebody said if you have a problem in the family kudumbathile sila prachanai ungalku irundal you need to sit neengal onrai amarndu rather go and go and shout the neighbors anal neengal pakkathu vittu akkarga adai solla maatirgal yes or no what do you think enna nenikkeergal going and shouting at the neighbors will solve your family problem ungalude prachanai kurithe pakkathu vittu akkarukku adhigamai solluveergalo no as unwise adhu apdi or call for a press report illa vittal neengal patrika nirupalai kootu pesuveergalo that is not going to save your family adhu ungalude kudumba prachanai theerkadu we have difficulties in the family of god kudumbathil deva kudumbathilum apdi undu we have situations in the house deva veettilum kuda soolanaigal undu we all are struggling to grow naangal valarvadharku naam prayasam pandrom you should do you should come to those who can help you enna seiya vendum udavi seivarathil neengal varavendum yes or no that's what we have to do idha naam seiya vendum we have to sit down we have to share you ask for clarity you ask for understanding this is how we grow this is true fellowship so i want to encourage god people remember god is a living god and our relationship with him ought to be alive and living and uravanadu uyirode as i mentioned the other day nam kettadu pole many a time many other things are alive ella karyangalum uyirode irukirathu my phone is alive all the time enude tholaibesi eppozhudum alaivaga irukirathu you know that uyirode irukirathu and if you look at our phone time is much more than our time with the lord tholaibesiyodu kuda selavalikira neramanadu devu nerathi selavalikira kaattilum kammiya irukirathu your screen time is so many hours I didn't realize that. It's not that I looked at it, but I didn't. Then I am not aware. Like, our time is so much more than our phone time. What I am trying to say is, your phone time is much more than your quiet, quiet time. Your phone time is much more than your quiet, quiet time. Your phone time is much more than your quiet, quiet time. Your phone time is much more than your quiet, quiet time. Your phone time is much more than your quiet, quiet time. Your phone time is much more than your quiet, quiet time. நீங்கள் பற்களை கடிக்கிறீர்களா நீங்கள் சிரிக்கவில் சிரிக்கிறீர்களா என்று எனக்கு தெரியாது ஏனென்றால் நீங்கள் முகமடி அணிந்திருக்கிறீர்கள் there's a burden in my heart and so i'm sharing ஆகவே ஒரு பாரத்தோடு இதை பண்ணுங்க you know so let god be alive ஆகவே தேவன் உயிரோடு இருக்கட்டும் sometime our profession is alive than god வேலை தேவனை விட அதிகமாக இருக்கிறது our job is alive our children are more alive our needs are more alive நம்முடைய you know so we are hearing god's word and this word has to be a living knowledge within us agave inda vaarthiyanadhu namakkullaga deva arivu unmayaga irukku you know so may god help us this something lord laid upon my heart inda oru kaaryathai devan hridayathile veithar you know my brothers and sisters let's be alive agave, to the lord and to his word he is sending to us in this devanukkum devan anupugira vaarthigalukkum naam uyirottamaga kaanapada virumbuven you know as we heard agave naam kettadhu pole we have to do with a living god you know the devanod kuda selpadigrom enbadai unara vendum you know i just want to move on today for indha nam thorandu dhyanikkalam with these few specific expression to the local church and i am sure that this applies to all god's people everywhere if they are open to the holy spirit ullur sabaikku naan kurippaga pesinaalum indha vaarthayanadhu therandirukkira ellorukkum ella aikyathil namodu kuda irundirukkira ellorukkum perandum i want to turn today again in the light of this present Uh, uh meditation to the book of hebrews chapter 4 agave evrey naala madhigarathukku selvom yes and we need to go very Now, fast i am sure my brother is getting ready for that uh the book of hebrews chapter 4 evrey naala madhigaram you know and there are several verses i may have to read but let me say this first of all you know we need to get as we heard last week the key is faith in our spiritual end nam ketom yes from beginning till the end we need this real faith and trust in god aramathil irundhu mudivu varai devanidathile unmayana viswasathai nam kondirukka vendum you know when we get inside or into the matter of faith nam viswasathai kurithu aalamaga paarkum bolude you know then we will definitely begin to appreciate the book of hebrews hebrews nirupathe nam nichayamaga paarata aarambippom you know when we look at the book of hebrews hebrews nirupathe nam paarkum bolude you know one thing very uh, you know one thing uh, one thing we are able to see very clear oru karyathai miga telivaga nam paarkum mudiyum is that the book of hebrews from start to finish hebrews nirupam aarambathil irundhu mudivu varai speaks about faith viswasathe kurithu pesikondirukkirathu you 
You know, we see this helpful clue and key to faith in Hebrews chapter 4. Every and Allah Madigaratle, Visuasa Turke, Devi Padigradana, Trevogola in Amparikro, Adanamakodavigra or Trevogola Parkro. You may think that it is not really a matter of faith that Hebrews chapter 4 is talking about. You may think like that. But when you truly examine chapter 4, yes, that it is touching very specifically the matter of faith. Now, Let's just read this a few verses here. First of all, I would like to read verse 12. Look at this expression here. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing ascender of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 You know, you will notice here in this yeah. verse. Now, yeah. you know, this verse is very familiar to us. Amen. We have heard many, many times, you know, you know, uh, expressions brought out from this verse. Referring to this verse. But I think today God has got something different to speak to us from Anal this verse. This verse begins with an expression for the word of God is quick. So that word for relates to what is said before. Yes. You will notice that statement begins with the word for. And it links you with one thing. You know, when you read the previous verses, it links with the children of Israel, you know, wandering in the wilderness and how they failed to enter into their rest. You know, Amen. Alright. Now I'm not reading all those verses for want of time. But when it says for the word of God. That word for links with Israel in the wilderness. Wherein they failed to enter into their rest. Yes, now for unto us was the gospel preached, as was well as unto them, verse 2 says, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Verse 2. Quickly, brother. Chapter 4, verse 2. Quickly. Yeah. Amen. So the gospel was preached to them that not only their deliverance but deliverance is to possess a land before that God has set before them. You know that they are to inherit the land. That gospel preached to them did not benefit them, profit them. Not being mixed with faith. Did not profit not being united by faith as other translations put it. You know, because they did not mix it with faith. Because they did not unite it by faith. They heard it, but there was no faith. That word was not 
Uh, விசுவாசிகளாய் நாமோ அந்த இலைப்பாறுதல் பிரவேசிக்கிறோம் அவருடைய கிரியைகள் உலக தோற்றம் முதல் முடிந்திருந்தும் இவர்களுடைய இலைப்பாறுதல் பிரவேசிப்பதில்லை என்றும் என்னுடைய கோபத்திலே ஆணையிட்டேன் you know it says i swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest yes and it says they could not enter in because of unbelief verse 6 towards the end to save time and they to whom it was first preached ended not because of unbelief so the mudalavathu ketavargal keel padiyama inale adil pravesiyamal pona padinalum yes now after having said all these things verses 9 to 11 there remained therefore a rest to the people of god for he that is entered into his rest he also had ceased from his own works as god did from his let us labor therefore to enter into that rest lest by any less any man fall after the same example of unbelief for amen agayal all right agayal so here he says about entering into rest ile paradil privacy pathi kurithu pesa padigirathu more about rest and the failure of israel to enter into rest israelargal and ile paradil privacy ku mudiyamal ponadai kurithu pesa padigirathu then he says for the word agayal deva vasanamanadu divides between the soul and the spirit aathmaavayum aaviyum pirikkiradha irukkirathu now when you read other translations you know not only our god is a living god not only our god uh, you know we have to do with a living god namm jeevana devanodu kuda selpadikrom endru mathram alla you know but the word you know the scripture also says his word is also living word avare vaarthayanadum avare vasanamum jeevanulladhu endru solugirathu He is not only a living God. Not only we need to have a living knowledge of this God. But His Word is also a living Word. I like to read from Hebrews chapter 4 from another translation. I would like to read from the American Standard Version. One second. Uh, american standard version american it says standard. like this for the word of god is living agiyal deva vaarthiyanadhu jeevan ulladhu and active mega thuridhamai selvadigiradhu the king james is quick but it also means living adhu jeevan na irukku for the word of god is living and active agiyal and sharper than any two edged sword devude vaarthiyanadhu jeevanum vallamiyum now here we get a key inge nam oru thiravu kolai paarkirom for the word of god divides between soul and the spirit deva vaarthiyanadhu aathmaaviyam aaviyam pirikkum the word of god which is living remember when god's word is living in us it has a tremendous power to sift and separate between soul and the spirit devudey vaarthiyanadhu namakkullaga jeevanaga irundal adu migapiriyadana oru aaviyam aathmaaviyam pirikkathakkadana oru kriyai seigirathu So there is a link here brethren brothers and sisters this is the key to faith idhan viswasathin thiravu golagum in other words here is a key to faith idhan viswasathin thiravu golagum what is it it is the conquest adu or the triumph jeem kolgira or karyam or subjugation of the soul adhe aathmave merkolgira karyam aathmave keel padukira karyam how by the word of god adhe eppadi deva vasanathin moolamaga da and you know this explains 
the whole journey of israel in the wilderness and their failure adhu israelvargal janangaludaiya mulumiyana andha vanandara payanathiyum avarudaiya tholviyam idu kaanvikkirathu listen very carefully listen to god's voice beyond words of men satyathai kaatilum deva satyathai kelungal this explains the whole uh, life of israel in the wilderness and their failure avrudaiya tholviyum and the subsequent forfeiting of god's purpose in their lives avrudaiya vaalkiyile devudaiya nokkathai ilandu vittadhum adu kaanvikkirathu what was that no faith vishwasam illai why no faith vishwasam illai because they didn't receive god's word and mix it with faith and all deva vasanathai vishwasathodu kuda avargal kalakavillai peravillai they didn't consider god's word to be a living and active faith that can deliver their soul avude aathmave vidivikka koodiyadana andha vaarthaiye vishwasathodu kuda avargal yetukollavillai kalakavillai idu dhaan kaariyam and there is samarthiki pranavaratham yes amen they could not somehow accept that word eppadi andha vaarthai avargal yetukolla mudiyavillai and allow that word to be living to cut asunder and separate them from the realm of the soul and the aathmavin mandalathil irundhu andha vaarthiyanadhu pirikka koodi edathile avargal kaanapadavillai endrai paarkirom now we know what the soul is namakku theriyum aathma endral enna endru i am not going to explain that to us adhu ungalku vivarikka thevai illai but we need to know that we have to know that that we have the soul and the spirit within us namakku aaviyum aathmamum undu yes you know when we think about the soul as we have heard even before the soul is uh, is a self conscious life of ours aathma endru nammude suyanalathin unarvai kondirukirathu the soul in us is nothing else but the self conscious life in us namakullaga irukkira tannala vaalvai dhaan aathma endru solugiro o ya ya pranga jeev yes you know the soul is the soul conscious life of Nam- ours that's a soul namudaiya aathma endru nammudaiya tannalam suyanalathai sutriye varigirathu adhu dhaan aathma yes by our soul namudaiya aathma vinal we are conscious of ourselves namme kurithu nam unarvadaindu kaanapadigirom we are conscious of ourselves namme kurithu nam ninaivodu kuda suy ninaivodu we are conscious of other people matra janangalai kurithu unarvadaigirom we are conscious about the world around us namme kurithu ulagathe kurithu nam you know this is the soul life avaru aathma vaalvu conscious of ourselves namme kurithu conscious of others namme kurithu and conscious of the world thing and its things around ulagathum, us ulagathum ulagathiyum adanude karyangalai kurithum unarvulavargalaga irukrom whereas the spirit is the spirit within us is god conscious adhe deva sindhaiy kondirukirathu deva unarvodu irukirathu from the time that the spirit was raised up to life in us namakku aaviyanadhu uyirodu elpapatta poludhu when we were born again we were born of god we were who were dead in our sins and trespasses are now quick and back to life again this this spirit in us is god conscious a listen carefully the god conscious life is the effect of the spirit working in us namakku aavi kriya seiyumbolude deva unarvudaiya oru vaalkai nam vaalgirom so by our spirit namude aavinal you know active in us namakku aaga kelpadumbolude with the help of the holy spirit we are conscious of god nam devane kurithu unarvulavulaga irukkirom who is spirit aavi a irukkirar and all in the realm of the spirit of god devudaiya aavin mandalathile ella karyangalukkum unarvaga irukkirom so by our spirit we are conscious of god devane kurithu unarvullavara irukkum who is spirit avrudaiya aaviye kurithu and all that realm of the spirit of god aavin ella mandalangalukku ella karyangalai kurithu nam unarvullavara irukkum now what the spirit is saying here is ipo aaviyan enna solugirar endral that the self conscious in the suyanala malvanadhu 
yeah and the god conscious life and melum and the deva unarvin vaalvanadu these two things are existing in us these two things are existing in us yes yastha kurmen these two things are existing in us these two things are existing in us the self conscious life melum and the deva unarvin vaalvu and the god conscious life melum and the deva unarvin vaalvu Now, if these two things are not defined rightly, if it is not defined rightly, if it is not done, if it is not separated, if it is not divided. and we it, we do not recognize its difference veru vaate nam sariyaga ariyavillai endral agar nai kar paaya ga to adhu eppadi nam seiya mudiyavillai endral right if you are not able to recognize its difference veru vaate nam ariya mudiyavillai endral and allowed it to overlap ondru kondru melaga ondraga serthu veithal it will bring about confusion in our spirit nammudi aavikuriya vaalkaiyile adhu kulappathe kondu varum are you understanding listen carefully You know when it is both these lives are within us. Even the valve of our culla is coming out. Self-conscious. Even all of us are valve. And God-conscious. Even the devil of us are valve. You know these two things, if they are not well defined, not set apart, not divided rightly, 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 they did not have faith idan moolamaga avargal vishwasathai kondirukkavillai amen for the word of god aagiyal deva vaarthayanadhu is a living word adhu jeevanulladhu sharp adhu kurmayanadhu not a, a, it's able to get in separate between the soul and the spirit adhu aaviyam aathmaavai pirikkakudiyum and because they did not allow this word to do that Inde work vele seivadharku avargal thangude hridayathile therandirukkadirnal they did not end the rain avargal pravesikka mudiyamal ponargal so the hebrew writer says they failed because of unbelief avasuvathathinal thotargal endru hebrew nirupar solugirar because of unbelief avasuvathathinal thotargal now what does that amount to adu ungalkum namakkum enakkum enna pesugirathu let us see it further the self conscious life tannala vaalvanadhu predominated merkondathu or prevails in our lives nammal vaalkaiyile pradhanamai poi vittathu it's overweight in our lives nammal vaalkaiyile mel elumbigirathu and the god conscious life deva unarvin vaalvu if it does not predominate aathmave mel jeikavilla endral if the god conscious life is not able to predominate deva unarvin vaalan vaalvanadhu jeem kollavillai endral then there is a great danger appozh than mega periya aabathu kanapadigirathu if the self conscious life predominates nammudaiya aathma vaalvanadhu merkondal and the self conscious life is not predominating மேலும் நம்முடைய ஆத்மா வாழ்வு மேற்கொள்ளவில்லை என்றாலும் yes but rather it is made you know it is subjected and become subservient to the soul conscious life அப்படியாக அந்த ஆவியினுடைய கீழாக ஆத்மா வரும் பொழுது then it's a great danger for us in our own lives today now this is what happened to israel இதுதான் இஸ்ரவேலுக்கு நடந்தது yes this is what happened in other words for them everything was a matter of self avargalukku ellame suyanalamaga or karyamagave irundathu yes everything was a matter of how self was affected by the situation eppadi suyanalathum suyanalamanadhu suyamanadhu soonalaiyalal baadhikapadigirathu enbadhaye karyamaga irundathu yes 
Everything was a matter of self. And every time they were conscious of how the self was affected by the situation. How the self was affected by the prospect. Yes, how it is affecting his soul life. You know, and you find Israel again and again in that place. How it is it affected them. Now, when we look at the children of Israel. You know, we see them full of enthusiasm at one time. Yes. Full of zeal for the Lord. You know, they look like they had a real interest in the things of the Lord. Oh yes, they were going on. When they crossed the Red Sea, how joyful they were. You know, they sang songs unto the Lord. They worshipped the Lord. You know, we see this from time to time in the midst of the people of God. They had zeal for the Lord. It looked like they had a real interest in the Lord. And they were going on. And they were full of an apparent real devotion unto the Lord. Yes. Oh yes, they were going on. Yes. It looked like they were keen about moving on to the promised land. Yes, and remember that. Now this enthusiasm, this desire, this zeal, you know, every interest they had, it was all when the situations were pleasing to their soul. Please understand this. When God is answering your prayer, meat for meat, drink for drink, victory from the enemies, when everything is in favor, oh, wonderful church, no brother like Joy Thomas, Lovely brother, he is father to me. Why not? GSF, I have never seen a church like GSF. What a beautiful body of believers. I say church go. When everything is in faith. And everything is still. Everything is still. This was what happened with Israel. Yes. When things were in their favor, they had a zeal, they had the interest, they had, yes, glorious churches. What I am for, Brother Joy. Huh? <laughs> I wrote exams, I got the exams, I passed it, I got my job. Yeah, so I want to really give my life to the Lord. But when it came to marriage, came to marriage. Sadi ka baat. Anna, tere mande mande varum bolte. Jab vivaah ka baat aa gaya, bimar ho. Tere mande mande varum bolte. No yutor kala hai kaana padi gro. Please, please understand. Please understand me, brothers and sisters. Israel was very keen and interested when things were in their favor. Yes. When the situation was pleasing to them, when the prospect was presented to that, that you know that you can move on in and inherit this tremendous land flowing with milk and honey. Yes. They were filled with joy and gladness. They were filled with the sense of possibility to get on to that land. Yes. 
அதிகமாக <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we like to hear. Get cover, Somebody is smiling here. Listen carefully. Tell us more. More about this wonderful land. More about this wonderful calling in Christ Jesus. More about this wonderful calling in Christ Jesus. More about this wonderful calling in Christ Jesus. To which we are called. Keep telling us, brother. Keep telling us, brother. About all this glorious land. About all this glorious land. and wonderful things in christ kristu kullaga irukkira magimiyulla and arumiyana kaariyathai solli kondirungal yes and we are for it brother sagarai naangal adha kirikkirom i am glad god brought me to this body of believers indha kristu sabaiki kondu vadarkaga naan miga sandosham padutukiren yes we are for naam idarkagave naangal irukkirom but i want to naan solugiren it was all the soul idu ellam aathuma it was all the soul man idu ellam aathuma manidan that was so with israel ide aathma mandalam when things were in their favor karya manugulama irundha poludhu things were happening nicely ide oh they were very much keen about this ide kurithu miga vaandhiya irundargal remember it was all the soul and nothing to do with the spiritual man aathma than aavikuriya karyam onrume inge illai self conscious adu suya nalathai kondirukirathu self interest adu tannalathai kondirukirathu self gratification and when there arose a situation or a sunnale elumbiya polude either present nigal kaalathilo or in relation to the prospect in relation to the purpose of god illa vittal deva nokathai thodarbu padathapatta kaariyam elumbiya polude having to face up a separated life ikkapatta vaalkai edirpaartha polude having to face up a rejection by family or others kurumba urupinargalal vilakkapatta poludhu yes or there arises a difficult situation illa thalavar kadinamana soolai elumbiya poludhu there arises a situation of self sacrifice ithe dhyagam seigira or idam endru varum poludhu there arises a situation where god demands the self to let go ithe vittu vida vendum enkira or soolai varum poludhu there arises a situation that challenges something that is very very close to your heart ungal hrudayathirkku miga you want to do ungal hrudayathirkku miga nerkamana kaaryangalai vittu vida vendum engira soolnalai varum poludhu that you are so interested in your heart ungal ungal hrudayathile miga vaanjiya irundirgal then unbelief rises appozhudhu than avishwasam elumbugirathu then unbelief rises appozhudhu than avishwasam elumbugirathu then there is no faith appozhudhu vishwasame illai to let go vittu viduvatharku faith to let go the self suyathai vittu viduvatharku thevai padigira vishwasam illai there is no faith to sacrifice that interest which is coming from the soul and the atma vil irundhu varigira and the vaanjai vittu viduvatharku vishwasam illai yes their zeal went away avude bhakti veerakam poi vittathu unbelief began to multiply avishwasam miga perga aarambithathu brothers and sisters devajanangale You know, it is here that Israel failed. In the end, they did not trust their God. They were not concerned about. 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 They were
the history of israel is being repeated in the midst of god's people deva janangal in mathile marubadiyum selpettu kondirukkirathu do you agree idhai neengal yetrukolgireengala can you be honest nermiyodu kuda and agree to god's word devakrathukku ottu poga mudiyuma that's why this is recorded and given to agiyal idhu eludapattu namakku kodukapattirukkirathu yes then adarkapram they forgot their thangal call. alaippai avargal marandu vittargal they began to make their call something very light avargal alaippai miga arpamaa eninaargal not very serious gaunama illai they let go that call and the alaippai vittu vittargal that which they appreciate paraatiya alaippai you know so we see that all that appreciation most of those things were more of the realm of the soul than the realm of the spirit avargal paaraatiya ella karyangalum adhigamaga aathma mandalathil dhaan irundathu aavikuriya mandalathil illa enbadai paarkirom yes yes now they let go that which they appreciate ippozhudhu paaraatiya karyathai vittu vittargal that at one time they said god spoke to me oru thadai sonnargal devan pesinar endru you know god led me devan enne valinaduthinar endru sonnargal now now they let go those things and the karyangalai ippozhudhu avargal vittu vittargal yes now these things are not for them ippozhudhu indha karyangal avargalukkendru illai now the body of christ is something that they do not really appreciate ippozhudhu christian sharirathai avargal virumbugiradillai they begin to question the body of christ christian sharirathai kelvi kekkirargal they begin to question the ministry and the uliyathai kelvi kekka aarambikkirargal begin to question the leaders moopargalai kelvi kekka aarambikkirargal they begin to question the saints parishutha vaangalai kelvi kekka aarambikkirargal they begin to question the church sabai kelvi kekka aarambikkirargal and the purpose of they god they begin to kelvi kekka aarambikkirargal and many other things pala karyangalai let's hear god today deva satyathai kelungal my brothers and sisters deva janangalai four ஆகையால் the word of deva god varthai anadhu is quick even ullathu vallamai ullathu the word of god that we are hearing is living nam kekkira inda deva vasanam anadhu jeevan ullathu amen don't treat it as dead adhai setta karyamaga neengal anuga vendam if you treat it as dead it will be appadiyaga irundal appadi than irukkum but if you receive it anal as living then it is going to define what is of the soul and what is of this anal inda vaarthai jeevanulla vaarthiyaga neengal petru kondirgalil adu ungal aaviyam aathmaayam vagayirukku poi it will it will never overlap adu ondru kondru melaga vaikkadu and bring confusion in your spiritual ungal aavikuriya vaalkile kulappathai kondu varadhu you know why are some of us in great confusion nammile palar kulappathil irukkirom why are we is because there is not defining word. you are not allowed the word to come in the word is not a living knowledge anymore it is mere doctrine is just a mental knowledge but if it's a living knowledge anal it will be a living word within us it will define adhu pirikkum it will divide pagukkum it will separate pagukkum it will segregate adhu vagayirukkum you know and because we don't allow this word aagiyal nam idu yetrukollada poludhu we are in that place of confusion nam kulappathile kanapadugirom and in that place where we begin to neglect this and the alaippai nam athatai panigira nilamikku vandu vidugirom we begin to question those very things that we sang about nam paadal paadi and the alaippai about talked about and appreciated now let me share another aspect idrude innoru pagudhiye paarkalam what for edarkaga what for god is really sending this word edarkaga indha vaarthaiya devan namakku unmaiyaga anupikondirukkar theriyuma as we heard it pole you know god wants this god conscious life of the spirit to be predominant devan indha deva unarvulva vaalkai anadhu jeem kolla vendum pradhanamaga irukka vendum endru virumbugirar yes In other words the word of God was coming to them Avargalukku deva vaarthai vandathu For the word of God says if you hear his voice when Avudey satyathai indru ketpirgalil God was sending his word Devan avargalukku vaarthai anupikondirundar He says if you hear his voice today Indru neengal avudey vaarthai ketpirgalil Harden not your hearts What does that mean 
allow that word andavathai yetrukollungal receive that word andavathai anumadhiyungal let it be living jeevana irukkattum divide it irukkattum separate that realm of the soul and the spirit adhu aathmaavi vagukkattum let it bring, you know receive it in faith vidhvadathina adu petrukkolvom faith will increase in you vidhvadam perug aarambikkum cause you to believe in god devane naam vidhvasi kaarambippom that god can bring a separation between the soul and the spirit in your own life sundha valvile devan aavikku maathumaavukku oru pirivai undu panvar in other words why the word was coming yen namak vaarthai varugirathu you know god is first devan mudal it is god's need devude thevidan mudalaga varavendum their interests are second avargaludeya vaanja irandamadu you know when the lord began to highlight his purpose devan thanudeya nokkathai avar sollum bolude pradhanamaga sollum bolude you know that means adhu artham enna vendral their interests were eclipsed their interests were you know surpassed avargaludeya thevayum adodu kuda inaindirukkirathu endru paarkkirom yes their interests were overshadowed devayam adodu marikkapattirukkirathu this is what god wanted devan virumbinar this is the work of god that their things may not be predominant avargaludeya kaariyangal mudhalavathu varam varamal irukkum but god's will deva sithamanadhu god's purpose and god himself may be predominant in their life devan mudhalmayaga irukka vendum endru virumbinar and not their self avargaludeya suya vaalvu alla yes and why god is doing this devan idha seigrar theriyuma because god knows one thing devanukku or karyam theriyum and listen very carefully god knows one thing if god is not predominant the spirit of god is not predominant in their life they can never come into the land of inheritance apdiyaga devan mudalmiyaga illavittal deva aaviyanavar mudalmiyaga illavittal avargal anda vaakkudatha desathil pravesikka mudiyadhu endru devarku theriyum yes amen god knows devan adai arivar if god is not having his first place in their lives and that you know god conscious life is not predominant deva and surpassing the life of their soul they can never enter into the inheritance god knows this and so god was sending the word to them to help them to inherit amen devan adai arindirundar edai arindirundar endral devarun mudanmayaga illamal irundal avargal anda aathmaave jayam kondu anda vaakkathatha desathile pravesikka mudiyadhu endru devan arindapadinal devan thodandu avargalukku vaarthigalai anupikondirundar avargalukku udhavi seiyumbadiyaga idhai seidhu kondirundar yes god knows devan idhai arivar amen why god is entreating with devan ye nammodu kuda edai padukirar why he is sending his word again and again to us ye devan vaarthigalai namakku anupugirar he is interested in you inheriting your land of promise which has promised you in christ jesus hallelujah vaakkathatham pannapatta anda desathile neengal praveshikka vendum endru devan virumbugirar aagayal devan marubadi marubadi vaarthigalai anupikondirukkirar that you may be part of his glorious bride in manavaattile neengal pangaga irukkumbadiyagavum that he you may come into the end of your salvation yes god knows this devan idai arigirar and so god was doing it devan seidu kondirundar now we know that scripture which we all know very well arinda or veda pogadi matthew chapter 6:33 matthew 6:33 what is the scripture tell me from your memory theriyuma yeah seek ye first the kingdom of god mudalavathu devudey rajyathayum அவருடைய நீதியை தேடுங்கள் all these things மற்ற எல்லாம் உங்களுக்கு கூட கொடுக்கப்படும் shall be added to you one of the most misinterpreted word ஒரு தவறாக போதிக்கப்படுகிற ஒரு வசனம் இதுதான் yes misunderstood தவறாக புரிந்துகொள்ளப்பட்ட வசனமும் இதுதான் wrongly preached word தவறாக போதிக்கப்படுகிற what it means is just seek god and be saved and the whole world is yours devane thedi yetrukollungal ungal ulagam mulavadum ungalukku endru solugirargal that's what preachers preach. just preach. just, just give your heart to god devane devanukku kodungal and then the whole world is yours adhu podumanadhu matra ulagam mulavadum ungalukku so what you want to marry is yours whatever job you desire ningal virumbugira valvu ningal virumbugira valai and you want to own it will be all yours ungalukku varum chaacha ka uncle ka 
grandmother ka all the land will ungal virumbugira ella nilam doesn't matter how many litigations are going on it's all yours ella ungalku theviyana ella karyangalum varum that's what the preaching eppadi prasangikkirargal listen carefully kelungal that's not what this says anal idu appadi alla listen carefully by the holy spirit seek ye first the kingdom devane rajyathil mudhalil theedungal seek ye first the king rajavai mudhalil theedungal and his rule avudaiya aalugaiye theedungal that makes one thing very clear adu oru karyathai solugirathu god first devan mudal mudalavathu devan some people think i will pray half an hour naan arama neram jeevam pannuven and i'll give 10 minutes for the word of god adukapram 10 nimisham padipen and i will clear all the enude ella parichaygalum naan jeithu viduven because i am seeking kingdom enandal deva rajyathai naan thedugiren i'll get a good job because i am i am seeking god first naan mudhalavathu devane thedugiren that's not what the scripture says anal vedam eppadi sollavilla that's not what it says adhu devan appadi sollavilla what it says is that keep god first in your life alkile devane mudhalavathu vaithu endru sollugirathu amen that's what it says inge sollapadigirathu god first devane mudhalavathu veyunga god first devan mudhalavathu god be given his first place devan mudhalavathu edathai kodukka vendum place for him and his rule in your life aalugaiyukku neengal mudanmayaga devanukku neengal oppu kodukka vendum that means letting everything of my personal interest go to the second place and god taking the first place amen that's what it means devan mudalamudathukku varigiradhu that's what it means it's not little more prayer adhu edho or jabam alla little more reading of the scripture edho edho vasippa alla little more attending the meetings it's more than that brothers and sisters is putting god first. god's interest first. and letting my interest come down amen amen that's what the scripture says so let us not be going by the water down gospel that is being preached by men you know and this has to get right into our heart you know this is the issue this is the matter and this was the issue with israel in the wilderness yes oh may god may god help all of us you me everyone else. we need the help of god in this area yes oh let it get right into our hearts this morning you know how often we get disappointed in our lives we get disappointed in our lives virakthi adaigirom yemaandu poigirom yeah we get so disappointed in our lives what is this disappointment in reality in, a, in other words we get disappointed with god devarodu kuda nam emaatra manigirom yes it's with the lord devarodu kuda and his thing avarude karyangalodu kuda i don't know if you have been ningal inge irundirukireergala indha sonnalile you know many a time god's people get disappointed palana nerangalile deva janangal virakthi adaigirargal we did so much what the lord want devan virumbugiradhu naan adhigam seigiren we did so much what the lord want devan virumbugira kaaryathai naan adhigam seigiren what he desires avar virumbugira kaaryangal what i feel naan nenaikira kaaryangal i have done naan it naan seigiren avar nenaikira kaaryangal seigiren you know i have set aside my time enude nerathai odikiren and i gave for god devanukaga kodukiren i helped god speak devan janangalukku udavi seigiren ah i gave my time enude nerathai kodukiren i did many pala karyangalai seigiren i did not look into my own enude sotha karyathai kuda naan kavanippadillai i helped and then adarkapram why god did not give me what i want naan virumbugiradhu yen enakku devan kodukka matengira you understand kodukiradillai why is yen appadi nadakkiradhu God did not give me what I want. I am not even God. We have a lot of mixed up things. इपढ़ी आगा वो रे कलपड़ते कलपड़ते कोण वाले के लिए कर लिया. And this I have done for God's people. And this I have done. हमर काहे? And that. हमर को देवी चेदेन. And this. इधर हमर को चेदेन. And then why? Yen. 
எல்லாம் செய்து விட்ட பிறகு நான் விரும்புகிறதை கொடுக்கவில்லையே And then why people don't understand? அதற்கு அப்புறம் ஏன் என்ன ஜனங்கள் புரிந்து கொள்கிறது இல்லை? My problem. என்னுடைய பிரச்சனை My difficulty. என்னுடைய கடினத்தை What I'm going through. என்னுடைய சூழ்நிலையை We are mixed up. எப்படியாக நாம் கலந்திருக்கிறோம்? You understand what I'm saying? சொல்லுகிறது புரிகிறதா? We are mixed up. இப்படி ஒரு கலப்பட வாழ்க்கை When we are doing something, we are helping. We are helping. We are giving our Namada time. Namada 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 or whatever we Namada do. Of course, in the name of the Lord. Namada I'm not denying that. Namada 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 something else is working. Where are we going to do this? Yes or no? Sir, I want to do this. 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 Have you been there? Abdi irundhe krirgala? No. Illa ya? I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. I want to see those people who are not there. Abdi illa the krirgala. Things for the Lord itself. Yes. 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 Unto the Devan Lord, Kandre. but somewhere we ourselves are figuring Naamam in the whole thing. <laughs> you understand that? Somewhere in all that is happening in the name of the Lord, we ourselves are figuring out. I mean, figure. Or we are seeing. Yes. 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 We ourselves are seen their dominant. அங்கே நாம் பிரதானமாக நம்முடைய உருவமும் அங்கே தோன்றுகிறது. Yes. Somehow you know the self is is rising up it's seen it's it wants to be there. அங்கே சுயமானது வர விரும்புகிறது அங்கே அது இருக்கிறது காணப்படுகிறது. the self figuring itself in the midst of it all somehow somewhere mathilum engo or edathile suyamanadu kaanapadugirade nam paarkirom and the word of god says for the the word of god is living deva vasanamanadu jeevanulladu and powerful adu vallamai ulladu and sharp adu kurmayanadu you know you need to get a very sharp and fine instrument that can divide between in the two karyangalai piripadharku ungalku miga arumayana oru nerthiyana oru karivu thevai padugirathu amen and there is no instrument that can can so you know so define and so fine to get between these and divide endha oru karivum only the word of god in the two karyangalai piripadharku nerthiyana endha oru karivum illai Yes. Yes. We'll define things which are so mixed up. And the atmaavum aviyam pirike kudiya karyam, pirike kudiya or nerthiya na karvi. Amen. Somewhere the self figure or it it appears. Ida over ida thale andha suyam kana padi gire the thondi gire the. And we we face. disappointment agiya nam virakthiye sandikiro oh may god save us brothers and sisters in devajanangale devan udavi seiyattum for the word of god agiya deva vaarthayanadu for the word of god agiya deva vaarthayanadu the reason why israel fail to enter in was because of unbelief and not allowing the word to come and separate that soul ஆகவே அந்த வார்த்தையானது உள்ளே வந்து அந்த ஆத்மாவை அவர்கள் பிரிக்க தவறியதனால் அவர்கள் அந்த வனாந்திரத்திலே அந்த தேசத்திலே அவர்கள் பிரவேசிக்க முடியாமல் போனார்கள் எஸ் 
is it not true that we have seen faith wavering many a time we see our faith weakening in our lives. we see many a time our faith going down and goes under you know why it wavers in your time when god shuts us out of our mixed way of doing things unto god apdiyaga yes. devanukkende seigira kaaryangal kalapadamana kaaryangale devan pootum bolude yes when he begins to deal with that self that is figuring out in the things of god devude karyangalile suyamanadu varugirade devan tadai seiyumbolude you know when god begins to deal with that self that is rising up in the midst of god that which god is doing in our lives or in the work of god thanudaiya kriyaiye nammalaga seidhu kondirukkumbolude ande ange elumbugiradana suyathai devan adu avar ilaipadumbolude adile idaipadumbolude adai tadukkumbolude yes you know we our faith we nammude vishwasam balavina padugirathu wavers irumanam aagirathu we begin to question nam kelvi ketka aarambikkirum lord i am doing you devane na ummude karyam naan seigiren please children are not to go there I'm sorry for that interruption there. You know so we need to know this in our hearts. Namme irudhi thalariya vendum. That we become we waver in our faith. Namme viswasathile alai paigirom. When God begins to shut us and our self from the things which are related to God and the things the purpose of God. Devude nokkathilum devude we cannot sit with God. தொடர்பு படுத்தப்பட்ட காரியத்திலும் நம்மளுடைய சுயத்தை தேவன் மறுதளிக்கும் பொழுது இல்லாவிட்டால் தடை செய்யும் பொழுது நாம் அலைவாய் விசுவாசம் அதிர்கிறது அழைப்பை நாம் that self that is arising in the midst of what god is doing in our lives nammudaiya vaalkile devan seigira kaaryangalin mathiyile elumugiradana and aathmaave devan tadai seigirar you know that's where we come into disappointment nam viraktil varugirom there is something of the self at the back of all that we are doing for the lord devan seigira ella kaaryangalin pinnadiyile and the suyamanadhu elumbi nirkirade paarkirom of faith is agave favoring now viswasam alai paagirathu because god is trying to shut this self yen endal and suyathe devan vilakkugirar you know from that which god is devan edil seigiraro adil irundha suyathe vilakkugirar what god is wanting to do so what is the key to faith here agave inge viswasathin yes the key to faith is kiravugol enna vendral the dividing of soul and spirit aaviyum aathmaavum pirippadagum that is the key to adhu than viswasathin thiravagol that is what we understand from this in the veda vasanathilirundhu idai than nam purindukolgirom for the word of god is quick deva vasanam and powerful and sharp agiya deva vasanam anadhu jeevanulladum vallamiyulladum koormiyulladum the key to faith is the dividing of soul and spirit apdiyaga andha vaarthai anadhu aaviyum aathmaavum pirikkakoodiyadhu or in other words it is the complete refusal of the self mulumiyaga and the aathmaavai 
அது நிராகரிக்கிறது என்று சொல்லலாம் or abnegation of the self life அந்த சுய வாழ்வை முழுமையாக அது தடை செய்கிறது or the renunciation of the self life இல்லவிட்டால் அந்த சுய வாழ்வை தன்னல வாழ்வை முழுமையாக அது மறுக்கிறது the self interest அந்த வாஞ்சை அது முழுமையாக எடுத்து போடுகிறது and the and the interest of god or god's interest becoming positive and predominant in our நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே மேலும் தேவனுடைய வாஞ்சையானது முதன்மையாக வருகிறது அது நேர்மறையாக வருகிறது yes you know this is what god desires in our life namde vaalvil irundha devan edirpaarkkirar the complete abnegation of the self interest and the sriya vaalvai mulumaiyaga alithu poda vendum the renunciation of the self interest namde sriya theviyai sriya vaalvai adu mulumaiyaga the refusal of the self interest aur jo hamare sudha ki ruchiyan unko hum tyaagde but god's interest becoming positive apdiyaga devanudaiya nokkamanadu vaanjiyanadu and predominant in our lives namde vaalvil pradhanamaaga varigirathu adu mudhamaga and that is where the battle of faith is and viswasathinudaiya poratam kaanapadigirathu yes that's where the battle rages kidan and the poratam adhigamaagirathu yes it rages upon that ground always and the edathil dan ella poratamum viswasathin poratam adhigamaagirathu so listen carefully avai gavanamai kelungal if we are so utterly nam mulumaiyaga consumed for the lord's interest devudaiya devai kendu nam mulumaiyaga namai oppu koduthirundal we are so utterly consumed for the lord's interest devudaiya devai kendu nam mulumaiyaga namai oppu koduthirundal yes that no other interest in our life namude vere endha vaanjiyum has any precedence namakku mudarmiyaga illamal or or power endha oru vallamaiyum kondiramal yes to govern us namai aaliga seiyamal we would be victorious irundal nam vetri adaivom let me say that again if we are so utterly consumed for the lord's interest alone and that no other interest in our lives and that no other interest in our lives has any precedence or power over us nammude vaalvile vere endo oru vaanjiyum nammai merkollamal vallamiya illamal irundal yes we would be in victory all the time ellar nerangalilum nam jeevaraga thaan irpom yes but why many a time we are not found there is nam anaigadangalil apdi illai other life is predominant enendal nammudeya thevai nammudeya vaanjiyanadhu pradhanamaayi vandu vittadhu or koi cheeya hamare zindagi mein prabhudha the soul realm is predominant and aathma mandalamaanadhu pradhanamaayi maari vittadhu yes that's a that's a reason karyam but if you are consumed by one thing oru karyathile neengal oppu koduthirundal the lord's interest however weak you may be pravidamaga ningal irundalum but if your interest is lord's interest devai devudu thevayaga irundal i tell you you will become victorious ningal nithiyamaga devaligalaga irupeergal you will be an overcomer ningal nithiyamaga or devaligalaga irupeergal you will be victorious ningal nithiyamaga jayam kolveergal it is this unbiased it is this completely unbiased concern for the lord wants that is key to faith apdiyaga devan virumbugira kaaryathile mulumaiyaga parabatham illamal nammai oppu kodupadhu dhaan viswasathin thiravu olagum listen carefully again marubadi maa kelunga it is this completely unbiased concern indha devudaiya nokkathirkku neraga for what the lord wants that is the key to faith mulumaiyaga endha oru parabathamum illamal nammai nammai oppu kodupadhu viswasathin thiravu kol endru solugiren you know that is the key to faith that is key to faith i would say that again it is this completely unbiased concern for what the lord wants devan edai virumbugiraro adarku mulumaiyaga that is the key to faith paravatham illamal nam oppu kodupom enil adhu dhaan viswasathin thiravu kol ye viswas ki kunji hogi yadi parmeshwar ki ruchi hamari aisi ruchi jisme kisi tarike koi bhi 
Yes. Yes. If Israel in the wilderness had taken this attitude, unbiased, completely unbiased concern for what the Lord wants for them, they would have never perished in the wilderness. If Israel had taken this attitude, it would have never happened as it happened with them. Well, this is very, it's a very difficult experience. But remember, this is what God is after. Yes. The Lord is after something. The Lord is after something. Yes. The Lord wants something. He knows the best way to get it. Yes. Amen. If the Lord is after something, yes, He wants something, He evidently knows that that is the way to get it. He knows the way how to get it. And what should be our attitude? Lord, you want something. You are after something. And Lord, you know how to get it and that's the best way. Lord, I am with you. Amen. 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 Lord, I am with you. This is the attitude Israel would have taken in their lives. This is the attitude Caleb and Joshua had. Amen. Lord, if this is what your calling is, this is your purpose in my life, you know the way to get me there. Amen. There are so many issues in my life. It may be my job, it may be my future, it may be my settlement, whatever, order, whatever it is. Lord, you have called me. You are separated. You are after something. It's because of that you saved me from millions of people. Brought me into a body. Placed me in this, in this body. That I may come into those things. You know how to bring me there Lord. And Lord I am with you. I may lose everything. I may suffer loss of all things. But it is the Lord that matters to me. Amen. It is you and your call and your purpose and your full salvation that matters to me. Was that not the confession of the Apostle Paul? Amen. In Philippians chapter 3. I am not turning to that because we know that scripture. He says, forgetting those things which are behind. I press toward the mark that is set before me. I count all things to be done. Yes, I am pressing. I count nothing valuable in my life. But you, amen, that is seeking first the king. Amen. That is keeping God. His purpose. This is what God wants of every child of God. This is what He is desire of Israel of all. But only two of them desire to be in that place. 
Caleb and Joshua. That's not given to us as a philosophy. But that is recorded in the word of God to bring faith into our hearts. Yes. You know, so we see here the attitude that ought to be in us. Lord, I am with you. I may lose everything. I may suffer loss of many things. But Lord, if it's going to bring me there, is there anything that we really lose? But you see the soul is so possessive. We don't, that soul doesn't want to lose. But the soul wants to have this and have that also. Yes or no? And preachers are making it possible. All the preachers have come up to say, well, that's possible. You can have the soul, you can have also the spiritual riches. But God's word says it's not possible. Many preachers won't preach what we are hearing today. That does not mean I am the only one. God has his faithful men. Listen to God's word. In the midst of such compromising you know, teaching that's going on in the midst of God's people. I want to tell you, pure God's word will do a work in you and in me. And we qualify us to enter into the land of our inheritance. Hallelujah. Yes. The Lord wants you and me in that land. Yes. It means everything to be there for the Lord's pleasure. Everything there in that land is for his own pleasure. Yes. Everything there in that land is what matters to him and not to us. Yes. Yes. If that was Israel's attitude, they would have never perished. They would have never journeyed 40 years in that wilderness. Yes. Round and round. They came to the very borders. Amen. They came to the very borders. But they were turned away. And the Lord closed them. Turned them back. To perish in the Dear brothers and sisters, listen carefully. What mentality and attitude God is looking into our lives? Looking for in our lives. That attitude. Lord, if you call me, if you choose me to be part of this great purpose of yours, you have saved me and called me for that. Lord, therefore, I want to keep that first. Everything else in my life second. Yes, Lord, and that's what it means. He first. And all my interests are to come back. It's, it, they will have to be subservient to the spiritual man. Amen. Not the other way. You know, this is what God longs for. For the word of God. Is quick and sharp. So remember, this is the key. This is the key. Yes. That we have a completely unbiased concern for that purpose. That yes. 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 And I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, that will bring us into our inheritance. And we, therefore, when we have that upon our heart, we will see the word being alive in us. You know, the word will come in. Today you are hearing his voice. 
harden not our hearts devude vaarthai indru kelpigalil ungal hridayathai kadinapadutha vendam yes allow that andha vaarthai anumadhiyungal adu ullae varatum it is sharp adu kurmayanadu it is able to get into adu ullaga pravesikkum you know it's able to get into the very depth adu miga aalathukku soul and the pravesithe aathmaavayum aaviyayum pirikkum it will separate define adu vaga irukkum adu pagukkum there will be no confusion ange endha oru kulappamum irukkadu remember the soul so much dominates even in the things of god it figures there it comes up there and that's a where many a time we have disappointments agave devrude kaaryathilum kuda ipdi patta kulappangal varigirathu idan vilaivaga dhaan idu nadakkamal irukiradhanal dhaan andha kulappam varigirathu now quickly we need to go i am no i know that i have already passed my time but let me just quickly go and finish this thought today you know you can see the consummation in the second generation or the next generation agar iradam talaimuriyile idu nereveriyadai nam paarkiro parmeshwar ke uddesh mein dusri peedi ki jo paripurnata ko hum yaad yes you know they went in to the land of promise avargal vaagudha deshathile pravesithargal only on the ground of faith amen vishwasathin moolamaga maatrame amen only on the ground of faith vishwasathin moolamaga maatrame I'm not turn into many scriptures but you can see it for yourself later on. நீங்களே வாசித்துக் கொள்ளலாம். We read about the faith of Rahab. ராகாபுடைய விசுவாசத்தை வாசிக்கிறோம். He know the harlot. வெற்றியானவள். And her faith was the key to the land of Jericho. அந்த எரிகோ பட்டணத்திலே பிடிப்பதற்கு அவருடைய விசுவாசம் திறவுகோலா இருந்தது. Yes. There was the faith when they had to go around the city of jericho and the jericho patanate sutti varumbolude oru vishwasam kaanapattathu they went around six days aaru naalkal avargal and patanate suttinaargal in silence satham illamal that was faith adhu dhaan vishwasam amen went around the city of jericho you know six days in silence satham illamal aaru naalkal and patanate sutti vandargal on on the seventh day they shouted in faith elam naal viswasathinal aarparitargal and without drawing a sword or turning a hand to do anything they were victorious over the city of jericho and the jericho patanathai avargal merkondargal kattiyo rathamo sindavillai and it is ridiculous in the eyes of men no doubt kangalukku adu oru adu oru tuchchamaga irukalam but the battle was won anal ange yuddham merkollapadu it was all a matter of faith ella viswasam da where anal the generation anal before avargalukku munbaga irundha thalaimuraigal did not entering because of avargal avisvasathin nimittamaga pravesikka mudiyavillai the new generation the young generation they went up and possessed the land on the basis of faith vishwasathinal and the vaagudha desathai sondarithu kondargal but the old generation anal palaya thalaimurayo they did not avargal pravesikkavillai because of avisvasathin nimittamaga yenendral this generation went up because of caleb and joshua inda pudhiya thalaimurai yosua caleb nimittamaga vishwasathinal pravesithargal number if the lord delight if the lord delight in us devan nammil priyamai irundal he will bring us into the and the desathil nammai kondu varuvar amen if the lord delight in us devan nammil priyamai irundal this they spoke in the midst of opposition inda edirppugalin mathile avare idai pesinar when the whole camp wanted to stone and kill them ella palayamum avare kallirindu kolla paarthathu அந்த சமயத்திலே they said if the lord delight தேவன் நம்ம மம்மில் பிரியமாய் இருந்தால் he will bring us in அந்த தேசத்தில் நம்மை கொண்டு வருவார் என்று காலேப் சொன்னார் that is the matter இதுதான் காரியம் it is the delight of அது தேவனுடைய பிரியம் perfectly you know focusing ourselves on the lord மிக சரியாக அந்த நோக்கத்திலே நாம் நோக்கமாய் இருப்பது முக்கியம் completely unbiased concern for this call in the alaipirku mulumayaga paarabatcham illamal nammai oppukodupadu 
perfectly unbiased concern for the, the purpose of God. Brothers and sisters, I am going to close today. That is what God wants from our lives. And that is one of the most important. It, that's the most difficult thing in our lives as well. Amen. God wants us to have that perfectly unbiased concern for the purpose of God in our lives. For the Lord and His purpose. Unbiased. And that is one of the most difficult things in our lives. But I want to tell you, that's where we need. Amen? Amen? That's where we need to trust God. If God has called us to possess a land, He knows how to take us there. And if He's dealing with me, cutting off my soul, my self-interest, my uncommitted ambitions, even the things I do for God somewhere, the soul is still emerging and figuring out and God is shutting it out, I get disappointed with God and God's people. Yes, but God knows the way to get me there. Amen? Amen? May God help us. This word is a very hard word. Actually, the word is not hard. It's because of the hardness of our hearts. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody said, hard word. Yes, brother, I agree. But then when the second explanation came, don't know what to do. It's actually the word is not hard. You know, they said it's a hard word. Who said this? And what did the Lord say? Yeah, yeah, it's a hard word. Please go. They said hard word and they went. Listen, God's word is never hard. His word is living. It can give life to receive. It can do a tremendous work of bringing life out of death. That's a principle of his work. That's a principle of his work. That's why Peter said, where can you? You have what? You have what? The words that you speak are what? Life. It's living. Amen? It's living. It's spirit. So that there will be no hardness in anybody. Some may say, how brother Joy knows about what is in my heart? Not me. God knows. God knows about me. He knows about you. And he sends a word to me and to you. And so I would like to say here in It's a matter that God take delight in us. And to be perfectly unbiased, to have a perfectly unbiased concern towards what the Lord wants in my life, in, in our life. And that, is, and that is one of the most difficult things in our life. Because God wants the self to get out of the way. He wants the self to be subservient to the spirit. Amen? Amen? Amen. I'm going to close. He's a living God. His word is living. Sharper? Oh, how nice if it is sharper on all of you and not on me. How we wish like that. Oh, Lord, hit that person. Let her understand that this is God's call. <laughs> Sometimes if God doesn't hit, we hit. Listen, only, brothers and sisters, let me say this. His word is sharp. To anybody who is submitted to the Spirit of God. He is living. His word is living. 
his knowledge is living avrudeya deva arivu jeevan is working there is life adu enga irukirathu ange jeevan uruvagum remember this is our idhu dhaan nammude devan and may god really deliver us devan nithiyamaga namakku devan god has spoken to us god delights in us devan nammal priyama irundha he will bring us to the avar andha desathil nammai kondu varuvar amen and he knows the way avarku vali theriyum and he brought joshua and avar joshua vai kalavai kondu only on one ground ore karyam and they sang this song all through the wilderness avan andar muluvadum indha paadalai paadinaargal in the midst of all murmurings murmurpin mathiyilum while many are dying endu kondirundhalum because of unbelief avar avishwasathinal thittargal they said lord we delight aanal ivargal devanudaiya priyama irundha you delight in us you will bring us neengal devane engal devanai irundhal andha desathirkku kondu varuvargal sing that chorus endu sonnadinal and the lord delight in us devane emal priyama irukkattu he will bring us into the land avar appadi priyapattal namme andha desathirkku he will give us this land the land that floweth with milk and honey and the palum thenu moodugira desathirkku lord delight in us kondu varuvar devan namme priyama irundhal and the right you can play the andha desathil kondu varuvar musical instrument as well if you want please please do that so that we sing rightly agave andha paadalai nam paadalam delight in us and bring us into this land he was this land that flows with milk and honey love and i take one one each one Caleb and Joshua that was their song that was their song the lord delight it god's delight to bring us he knows the way to bring us there and he has spoken that word that word right through the wilderness 
to set aside that soul man. Hallelujah. To set aside that soul man. The soul that want to figure in the things of God. When all the favors are there. Hallelujah. Yes. Then we are so keen. We have seen ourselves in the mirror of God's word today. Hallelujah. Blessed are those. Blessed are those. Who can see themselves in the mirror of his word today. Harden not our hearts. As in the days of provocation. But let's open up for the word of God. For the word of God is living. Let it be living. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we all pray together? Thank you, Jesus. Let's all pray together. Let's be honest with God and take time later on with God in specific areas. The Lord would say and speak to you and convicted you already. He is at work within your heart today. He is within, he is within you. Working within you by his word and spirit. Shall we all pray together? Oh, Ramakayasha. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh, Ramakayasha. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh, we have the table of the Lord soon after this. What a wonderful opportunity to repent. What an opportunity to submit. What an opportunity to be cleansed of everything the Spirit has shown to us. He's not condemning us, but He's convicting us. It's not a convincing of your mind, but it's a convicting of your spirit within. Of the soul showing us, separating, defining. A clear defining. It's so fine. The word of God is so fine to go to the deepest. The most complicated. And show. No confusion in our lives. If you would let this word come in. Thank you Jesus. Heavenly Father. We turn to you. In the light of your word. In repentance. We turn to you, Lord, seeking you. That you will, in your great mercies, forgive us, cleanse us. Oh, we know that this soul has been so predominant in us. So conscious of ourselves, our interests, our needs, others, the things of the world. Lord and we have not allowed this God conscious life in us to be predominant thank you Lord for your word clearly showing us yes Lord the key to faith is to have a perfectly unbiased heart a perfectly unbiased concern for the purpose of God in my life. Lord, I realize that's a key to faith. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this word myself. I thank you, Lord, for this word that you send unto us as a body of believers of God. Oh, that our wanderings may come to an end, Lord. Lord Jesus. Oh, we repent. Lord, even where we did things in your name and unto you and your people. And in, in doing things unto you and in your name, Lord. Somewhere the self was lurking and emerging. Oh, Lord, we realize we come... We confess it to you, Lord, forgive us and cleanse us. Somewhere, O oh God. And that brought disappointments many a time in our lives. Lord, 
we seek your cleansing many a time. When things were favorable, we were so enthusiastic. We love the church. We love God's people. We love the word. We want to be in meetings. But Lord, when it is not favorable, when things are not very good, when we are challenged about our faith, our life, when we are challenged about our ways, ourself, oh God, we were upset with you. Lord, forgive us. Cleanse us of our immature talks. Immature comments. Sinful attitudes. Oh God, cleanse us. Your word has the power. Your word can cleanse us. Your blood can cleanse us. And change us, oh God, even today. Bring us to that land. Lord, you know the way. And you know how to get rid of this self that stands in the way. Yes, oh God. If you are after it, you know how to bring us there. Amen. And let that be our concern. And that's the key to faith, O oh God. And every battle will be victorious. So Lord, we commit ourselves as a body of believers, as your people, Lord, into thy hands. Yes, help us to walk in the, in, in the good of this word, O oh God, Amen. in the coming days. The good of this word. Yes, sir, God, for the word of God is living. Help us to experience, for the word of God is living. Help us to experience the living word in our lives, Lord. Bless this table as we partake of this after many months of God. Lord, let it not be a tradition, a religious activity, but Lord, that this table will be a living table. As your servant has said, in thy word of God, let it be life-giving table of communion with you and with one another. Bless this table to this end. Thank you, Father, for granting us this time. Give you the glory and praise again. In Jesus' most precious and matchless name we pray.